I'm Ian Somerville, and my textbook on software engineering is pretty well known. But I've now written a new book that takes a completely different approach, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it in this video. My book and all other general texts on software engineering adopt a project-based approach. This is the approach that led to the development of software engineering when the, in the construction of large-scale complex software systems. It's still hugely important economically, but I think it's pretty hard for students to relate to that because they don't have direct experience of the kind of systems that are developed using this approach. In fact, most software is now developed as software products. Software products are developed to be installed on the user's own computer or accessed over the internet. They use a di different kind of development model from software projects, and for this reason, project-oriented techniques are rarely directly applicable in product development. I think there are three characteristics that make a software co engineering course interesting to students. First of all, they must be able to relate to the course and be inspired by it. Secondly, they have to be able to apply what they learn in their class assignments. And finally, I think it has to use current technology that is students know about or have heard of. We all use software products in our everyday life. Lots of students have aspirations to start product development companies. Product development techniques are directly applicable for class assignments or in research projects. And to stay relevant and up to date, products have to use the most recent technologies. I've designed the book as a one semester course, so there are 10 chapters, notionally one per week, although you can cut it in different ways. I'm not gonna read out a list of the chapters. There's much more information about these on the book's website. This is my new book. I think it has the potential to revolutionize the teaching of introductory software engineering.